In this video, I'm going to teach you about for each loop with break. So it's pretty similar like the for each loop or loop. Okay, I would say each loop, but it's having basically one more execute uh, the input called break. So this thing only just make this thing a difference. Why? Suppose you are you you have this array data where you have the data one, two, and three. Now, what is the thing that you have the data? Maybe you have the data four, five, six as well. But what you want, you want to process only one, and then you want to whenever it's reached the position number two, you want to break the loop. But you still have the data, okay? Like four, five, six, which is typically for each loop going to be processed. But you want to get a break or just stop on the position number two. So at that point, the particularly these for each loop break are held. And after that, you can continue the data and now the next position wherever you want to stop, it will give you that position number. Okay, so let me demonstrate to you now. And otherwise, it's all have same like loop, array, array index, complete, all are same like for each loop. Okay, now suppose if I connect with a E keyboard and my array element, which is containing three words called GTA, GTA 2, GTA 3. And if I connect with the log body and the array elements, okay, and the complete would be with a turn. Now at the break, I want that whenever my this thing will be reached, what now typically do? Let me just show you first. If I press, you can see I'm getting all the data. But now I want only the process data from two. So what I'll do from the index number zero, if it's equals, I can now verify if it's equals like two for this. Okay, not the position number two. So what it will do, it will basically break the loop. So at here for the true, I'll be breaking. Okay, like this. So now, whenever my this loop for each loop will be reach the position index number two, it's going to be break or stop the function. So if I press E, you can see one, two, and the function is break, which is stop. And eventually, the for each loop, whenever the process will be done. For each loop, always give you the print string of turn or complete because it's going to be executed. Okay. And lastly, let me give you, uh, it, there's nothing more to be honest in the for each loop break. It's just only more on the break that you want to use. So I show you the use case. Lastly, here's a bonus uh, knowledge for you, which is from the array. You can, there's a two type thing you can basically get. For example, you want to verify the element number how much are containing there without running a for each loop you can basically get a length from it so length length which is give you the length of to 0 to 1 okay so it's more like if i just show you the print string the result how much you can see we have we know that we have a 3 0 1 2 okay so if i connect the print string and if i show you we have the element data three okay so which is typically it's called one two three but if you want like the actual coding system that we use or coder is which is position number zero one two so at that point you have to take last index so it will be give you the last is zero it will be calculated from the zero position so now if i click on play you can see it's zero one and two only okay so which is the eventually the right number that we are using as a game developer or the coder okay so this is the two more advanced code or knowledgeable code thanks so much for watching see you next video bye bye